So please welcome Mark. Okay, so this new book, The Dead Beat Scroll, um, is the seventh installment in the August Reardon series. So in order to set the stage for our conversation tonight, um, could you please tell us um, what this book is about? I would love to. Um, so the title, is, as Randall said, is The Dead Beat Scroll, and there's kind of two puns baked into that. Of course, it sounds like the Dead Sea Scrolls, and then it sounds, of course, Dead Beat has another connotation. But what it actually refers to is uh, beat writers, uh, beatniks, as, as Herb Cain called them. And of course, the most famous beat, beat writer was Jack Kerouac. Um, and uh, the most famous book that he wrote, uh, as you probably know, is On the Road. What you may not know is that he actually wrote the book on a continuous scroll of paper. Um, he taped together tracing paper that was used in uh, architecture, these little sheets of uh, architectural tracing paper. And the idea was that he wouldn't have to change the sheets of the typewriter and he could type away continuously. And he was, of course, famous for his very spontaneous uh, writing uh, style and prose. So this was a way to sort of enable that. And it was also said that he would work through the night high in Benzedrine uh, while he did this so that you know, he could keep going, and this was all to enable that. He lived uh, for a time, or stayed for a time, in San Francisco with uh, Neil Cassidy, who was actually the um, person who inspired the, one of the main characters on the road. And Neil Cassidy and his wife, Carolyn, were living on Russian Hill, on a little street called uh, Russell Street. So in, in the late 50s, or I think actually early 50s, he stayed with them for about six months, and during that time, he worked on three books, one of which was On the Road, and there were two other books he worked on as well. So the conceit of the story is that he actually worked on yet another book during that time. He wrote it on another scroll, and he secreted that scroll in the house. And it's remained there all this time until someone did a remodeling of the house and, and finds the scroll. The other thing I should mention is that the scroll for On the Road still exists. It was bought by a collector for something over $2 million. It's probably worth more than that now, maybe as much as five. So it's worth, uh, as an artifact or as something would be interesting to collect, a great deal of money. And of course, just the fact that it's a new novel by Jack Kerouac would also have a lot of intrinsic interest. So there's a great deal of interest around this uh, manuscript and when it's discovered, it sets off kind of a, a mad hunt or scramble for different groups to recover it. It's, it's as Alfred Hitchcock said, uh, it's the MacGuffin. It's the thing that drives the plots. It's the thing that everyone wants. Uh, now, Reardon, my private eye, doesn't really care in, in any way, shape, or form about Jack Kerouac or the scroll. He's brought back to town by the death of his partner. And as he starts to investigate the death of his partner, uh, or at least his former partner, he realizes that somehow this scroll is, is wrapped up in uh, what uh, Chris Duckworth, his partner, was, was trying to investigate at the time he died. 